Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Short Track STW CH Series Car Hauler. This is a Pro Series model, 9,900 pound GVW. Shown here is an 8,520. It's also available in different lengths. Starting at 16 and going up uh, to a 24 is quite common and we can even go larger than 24. Let's take a walk around this trailer. This is a new for 2019 model. There's a few of additional features that are now standard. So up front, Short Track does a 2 and 5 16 inch coupler. Uh, new for 19 would be the 7K drop leg jack. This is something that you would seldom see on a car hauler. If you're not familiar with the drop leg jack, it's got the grease zerk for serviceability. It's bolted on in case it ever needs replaced. It's also got a, a heavy duty leg, so you'd pull a pin, inner leg drops out, and then you have the adjustment with the top line handle. Makes it to where you would pretty much never need to carry around the wood block or similar to get it off. Short Track also does a heavier duty uh, safety chain. It's got a nice uh, heavy duty hook on it, uh, where most in the industry uh, just use a a uh, light duty S hook. It's, it's a meat hook. It's a it's a uh, equipment style uh, safety chain. Little detail, but there's a lot of those little details on this trailer like this. They do the mitered corners a lot. Do the square edge uh, no miters on the trim uh, short tracks taking time to do the uh, double set of lags and they're also using uh, lags in those uh, instead of the trim screws that you would often see a lot of times in your trim uh, you're going to get trim style screws and notice at the bottom they also do a heavier three inch trim uh, on those then also on the uh, tongue area this is a six inch tube but this, uh, this is all uh, prep steel. Uh, it's all got a powder coated tongue. It's a triple tube tongue. And then you also notice that the wiring is all uh, grommeted and ran in frame. It's pretty rare. Normally it's wire loom stapled to the inside. This is protected both in the harness and in how it's routed. Short Track's also gonna take time to junction box all the wiring up underneath uh, in this corner. I'll show you another little detail they do underneath, or a couple little details. Uh, one, they gusset played out underneath, which is pretty rare. There's your junction box I was referring to. And then this header going across right there is two by six tube. Most in the industry are just gonna use a piece of formed underneath there. And then on the outriggers that you see on the outside here, they make those out of box tube where everybody in the industry pretty much makes them out of that piece of lighter floor cross member steel. So a lot, of, a lot of little details underneath these short tracks. Also, while I'm underneath here, the mainframe on most is gonna be a junior I-beam. This is a tube frame all the way back. So a lot of manufacturers will do a tube tongue and then drop back to a junior beam. That's a tube tongue and mainframe with tube outriggers instead of formed. And it's got a nice heavy duty two by six header with the different gusseting. Hold back on these. Uh, is aluminum not a plastic and the side door on these has a metal handle not plastic it's got the nicer style piano hinge door and you also notice the door on this is a larger 48 inch door not a 30 32 or 36 got a nice finished face on the door side door step well inside the door aluminum wheels are also standard this has the thicker O30 aluminum exterior, not the thinner O24 that you often see. You also notice at the seams, it's a screwless exterior, not a screwed exterior. Gives it a nice clean look. Instead of a roof vent, Short Track does side vents. The side vents uh, don't have any penetrations in your roof. Uh, it gives you actually more airflow. Notice the bullet LED lights. Uh, on those aluminum wheels are going to be a 225-75 R15 radial tire. It's got brakes on both axles. Uh, this chassis is fully undercoated. I'll show you the undercoating that they use. That is on the whole bottom chassis and then uh, most manufacturers stop a few inches up. Short Track actually goes up. They've got the roof bows uh, in undercoating as well. They also undercoat in the side door step well area. They trim it out. Uh, also, little details on short track we like. The D-rings are placed uh, where you're going to want them in lieu of some of them will put 
Uh, the rings all the way up front and they're kind of out of the way or they're out of the way but they're not overly functional they put them back where you need them to trap your car down also new uh, not necessarily for 19 but fairly recently they switched to the aluminum h mold instead of the lawan trim strips uh, gives it a lot cleaner look then they also use a nicer grade plywood that's not a bc plywood that you would typically see it's a cleaner uh, birch looking plywood Roof bows on these, as mentioned, are undercoated. Notice it's got two LED dome lights, front and back, with a side door switch. Roof bows on this are uh, made out of one by two tube. Wall posts also made out of tube steel. So again, uh, tube in the walls and ceilings instead of, traditionally you'd see a lot of hat post, Z post, which isn't gonna be quite as structural. It's used more for a nail or flange. Uh, Short Track also takes the time to powder coat these fender well boxes instead of a uh, just a traditional uh, paint. Notice the corners on those are trimmed out, wiring up the nose. Little other details like the wiring going into the cross members all grommeted. Take the time to run a bead of silicone to seal everything up at the bottom. Back corners on these, they use plywood, easy to take off if you need anything. Uh, same thing behind the, behind the uh, spring header. They're putting plywood up there instead of a piece of aluminum trim. Above the roof bows, you can see the white uh, ceiling liner. Okay, that is a thermocool. That actually has uh, a nice look to it, but it's also, uh, Got a reflective insulation property to it. It's got a, uh, a thin piece of reflective insulation sandwiched basically between cardboard type material. Above that, you've got a one piece aluminum roof. This particular trailer will tend to stay cooler than most. Uh, the Galvalume roof, or the seamed roof, as some will call it, um, is made out of uh, galvanized steel. Being steel, it's going to absorb more heat than this one piece aluminum roof would combine the one piece aluminum roof along with that ceiling liner and this particular unit will stay a bit cooler uh, in the summertime than would an average trailer. Now if you couple that with a lighter color like this silver, that's definitely going to keep you even cooler than would a darker color. So let's take a walk around the back. There's a few more features worth uh, noting on the short track. Uh, one would be right here the bits they use a security style bit where they're covered somebody's gonna have to work a little harder if they want to break into your trailer uh, they do a finished rear corner standard on these they do a high output led they're doing the nice bullet style leds at the rear uh, a couple other details on these ramp flap extension if you take a look the little details take a look at the uh, screw center on these that's about a three, three and a half inch center. I've seen a lot of trailers coming out of Georgia about an eight, nine inch center. Generally, we've ended up re-screwing quite of those on uh, that have come back on warranty or, or customers brought in for service or whatnot. Uh, ha haven't had to put one of these back on. Sounds like a little detail, but we see this every day, folks. Other little details on a shore track. Uh, dual aluminum handles instead of uh, one plastic as you would typically see. These also have made in Indiana uh, door hardware. Generally the made in China hardware isn't going to work quite that uh, quite that well. Normally you got to fight with it a little bit and bend it in place and whatnot. Uh, short track again the dual handles they trim out the rear ramp door. If you look around the industry a lot of manufacturers are going to leave this exposed steel that rusts out over time. You take a look at the hinges, four hinges, those all have zerts on them. They're also wider hinges. These are roughly 10 inches, give or take. Also on short track, if you feel up underneath, most use a fab part here that the uh, hinges are attached to. This on short track's all boxed out tube. So not only do they have a little heavier uh, door and hinging than most, but also the reinforcing behind it generally tends to be a little more impressive. Other key details, five bumpers across the back. Look around, generally you're gonna see three, maybe four, sometimes two. Uh, they protect your door. 
And then uh, finally, one of the key differences besides just undercoating, a lot of your Georgia trailers aren't gonna have undercoating. Uh, they're also generally not gonna have a vapor barrier. That's gonna be a house wrap type material, like a Tyvek uh, type material that goes between your wall posts and your aluminum exterior. Uh, because of dissimilar metals, you will get electrolysis over time if you don't have that uh, house wrap type uh, material there. Short Trek does put that on. Southern built trailers, uh, none do to the best of my knowledge I've ever seen. And uh, most out of Indiana do. This being an Indiana built trailer, uh, they do put uh, the vapor barrier there. Uh, other little details on Short Track that I, I don't see elsewhere. If you pull the door down, I'm going to kind of watch this thing float down to the ground. Uh, and same thing on the upward. I see some that slam down and don't go all the way up and some that don't uh, go all the way to the ground. They've got this pretty well dialed in weight wise to where a little tap with your foot and this comes up. Uh, engineering uh, has spec how many turns to give it and it's got an appropriate amount of turns. I'm not saying everyone's perfect, but I fought with some trailers from other manufacturers that needed adjusted from brand new. I'm gonna get this car lock out of the way. So anyway, this is a Short Track STWCH, which is their W standing for Wedge Nose Car Hauler. Again, try that on some of the other trailers. I don't think they're gonna fit that smooth. Also, you can go back and forth with these, and for the most part, you're not going to hear uh, crazy screeching. These have uh, bushings in the uh, bar locks. And this is a 20-footer, something like this is going to weigh in at about 3,400 pounds, 9,900-pound uh, GVW. It's going to leave you about 6,500 pound of legal payload, plus your tongue weight. Tongue weight's uh, gonna be about 10 to 15%. Keep in mind, these also have a four foot beaver tail uh, designed for loading most cars, possibly some light trucks, uh, certainly your UTVs, ATVs, motorcycles. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717 220 or 220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.